Shalom, shalom. First off of all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity, the women, the children, and the confusion of faith who follow. So, as you can see, this lesson is a, I have a quote from the ancient Stoic Seneca. It says, it is the quality that it's like it is the quality rather than the quantity that matters. All right, the Most High doesn't deal with vast numbers or an overwhelming force. He doesn't need all of that. All right, he had Moses come back to tell uh, with with Aaron, but you know he had Moses come back to tell Pharaoh to let his people go. All right, he didn't come with an overwhelming army. You know, we're going to get some examples, but uh, the Most High said that, you know, he does this for the elect's sake. Let me, in fact, let me, uh, let me get this real quick before I start. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 22. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should be, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Not for everyone's sake, not for the whole nation, but for the elect. Okay, these times that we're in right now are going to be shortened. Okay. Uh, so this is Romans 11 and 4 says, But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Right? It's not talking about a specific 7,000 men who are, who are set in their hearts of the Most High, but a perfect number of men will. That's what that 7,000 stands for. All right? A complete number. All right? The 144,000 in the innumerable multitude. All right, there's going to be a separation within the nation. All right, and we're going to get that here in a moment. But you have a, a segment of the nation who is willing to put on the new man, who is willing to turn over a new leaf, if you will. Like our forefather David, he was a man after the Most High's heart, the elect. You know, we have to be men after the most high heart, women and children as well. But you you will always have that, that vast majority, that, that number who just can't get it. And if they can't get it, we're moving on. It's not about the numbers, okay? It's not about the aesthetics. It's not about marching in the street to show that you have uh, a thousand in this camp or a hundred in this camp or whatever or whatnot. It's about the quality. Are you really preaching and teaching his word to his best ability? Edifying. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Um, bear with me here. Bear with me. All right, so this is a First Corinthians fourteen and twenty six. It says, "How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation?" It says, "Let all things be done into edifying." So let's go into this word edifying. And this is a uh, strong as G three six one nine Okodome. It says uh the act of building, building up, a metaphor edifying edification, the act of ones who uh, promotes another's growth in Christian wisdom, piety, happiness, and holiness. A building, a thing, a built an, an edifice. So building up, that's quality. Building up the nation how it needs to be built up. Not you know, telling people uh, you know, the name of the most high doesn't matter or that the uh, the MOTB is not the CHIP. That's not that's not being done in the edification. That's not helping the the quality of the men who are going to come back to the most high. OK, 
this is Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left therein. Right? So if you're following, if your math is accurate, you know, you got two thirds and you got a one third. That two third, 67, or it's like 66.6%. They're gonna die. They're not gonna make it. They didn't turn their their hearts to the heavenly Father. All right, it's not about the numbers. It's about the sincerity. It's about the quality of the individual, not the number of individuals. Or the like, the Christian Church has millions upon millions upon millions. You know, same with the the Catholic Church. You know, millions upon millions of people, billions of people probably. But it's not about the numbers. It's about the quality of individuals. You know, a lot of those people, they they blind, uh, blindly follow a pastor, don't read for themselves, can't get it themselves. They weren't meant to get it for themselves because they weren't chosen. They're not of the proper quality. All right, it says, uh, verse 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. So these people are battle-tested in the spirit. All right, the Most High is not dealing with anyone who who he can't depend on, who whom he gave a job to, and that job was not executed. It's about the quality of the individual, not the quantity. Like, if you're working out, you can do 100 reps. But if your form is off and you you cheating, you know, that guy who did 30 reps is going to get a lot more out of it if his form was correct. Okay? He said that he's going to bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on... Bu- and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my power. And these are the times that we're coming into. All right, so that's why, you know, the, the picture is getting a lot clearer on who the true worshipers are and who, you know, who's faking the funk right now. And as we get closer and closer and closer, okay, this divide is going to get further and further and further. All right. People are going to start declaring who they're for. You, you're going to have to. You can't stay on the fence. You, like uh, like it says in um in Joshua. Let me see. Let me get that real quick. Uh, bear with me. I thought it was Joshua fourteen. Twenty four, okay. Okay, twenty four and fifteen. I thought it was fourteen and twenty six, but okay, here we go. This is Joshua twenty four and fifteen. It says, "Then if it seem evil to you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites who in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord." This is going to be a divide. He wants that quality of individual who wants to serve the Lord because the quantity of people aren't going to do that. The quantity, the most, the majority of people are not going to turn the hearts of the heavenly father. So if you were given that, that eye to see and that ear to hear, count it a blessing and don't take it for granted. The, the scripture said we can never go far enough. So constantly endure, constantly build yourself up. All right, a um, couple more scriptures I want to get. Let me see. Let's get Judges. All right, we're going to get an example for you. Um, so this is Judges chapter 7 and uh, verse 1. It says, uh, this is a bit of a read, so bear with me. And you know, It says, Gideon's 300 chosen men. That's the, 
the title of this chapter. It says, Then Jeru, uh, Baal, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched besides the well of Harad, so that the host of the Midianites were on the, other, were on the north side of them by the hill of Moray in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people that are with thee, that are with thee are too many for me to give to the Midianites into their hands. Least Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, "My own hand hath saved me." Right. So there was too many men. So the most high them be like, "Well, if if we use this many people, people can say, well, you know, it wasn't the most high that did it. Y'all had so many people that you know y'all did it yourselves. It was y'all that did it." Okay. So read on verse three. It says. Now, therefore, go to proclaiming the ears of the people, saying, whoever so, whoever, uh, whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from the Mount Gilead. And, and there returned uh, of the people 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. Right? So, already you can chop that, you know, <laughs> two-third and one-third almost. But, you know by uh two third is already gone. They had about thirty two thousand out of there down to ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will try them for thee there, and it shall be that of whom uh but that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, and the same shall go with thee, and whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought the so he brought down the people into the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue, like a dog lappeth, him shall thou say by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knee to drink, uh, yeah, that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hands to their mouth, were three hundred were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that have lapped will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into your hand, and let all the other people go, uh, every man to his, to his place. So he took the numbers from 32,000 down to 300 to take down a whole host. Okay, um, let me see. There's a number on these median nights. This is a fire chapter, you know, I'm not going to read it all, but definitely, you know, if you haven't read Judges chapter 7, this is a good one, get into it. Um, yeah, so it didn't give me a number of the median nights, but you can imagine if they had 30, you know, 32,000 men, then... It was a, a pretty big host. It was a pretty big number of men, individuals, who uh, who they had to take down. But the point of that story is it's not about the numbers. It was about the men, the chosen men who the Most High had ordained uh, for that battle. And it's the same in this battle that we face. Or the Lord is ordaining certain men. He's choosing men, okay, to, to come back to the nation, to, to preach, to teach, to edify, to build up the nation who are set for salvation. The scriptures speak about, uh, what, like, a once you chase a thousand, that's how it, that's how it goes. Bear with me. And so, a couple of scriptures, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 30, it says, How shall one chase a thousand and put in two, put ten thousand to flight, except their rock has sold them and the Lord has shut them up? So it says, one chase a thousand and two put, put ten thousand to flight. It's not about numbers, okay? It's about being ordained by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, being uh, anointed, being you know, <laughs> set for takeoff, man. It's not about numbers. It's about the spirit that rests upon you. All right, and this is uh, which is one chapter before. 
This is Joshua 23 and 10. It says, One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your power, he, uh, he is it that fighteth for you as he hath promised you. So, man, we ain't got to worry about all this BS. You know, and it's a lot of stuff that's coming down a pike. The scriptures speak about, you know, the enemy coming in as a flood. The Spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard against him. You know, we don't have to worry about these armies. We don't have to worry about, you know, the uh, the the pestilence that's coming, the new pestilence that's coming. I don't even want to say it because I don't want to get this video struck. I don't know, you know, how they're, you know, judging that as of right now. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know, you know that 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 monkey business. But um, it's not all. It's not about the carnal sense. All right, it's all spiritual, carnally. If you one man and you see a thousand people, I'm dead. But if you got the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, what did David say? He said that my hands fight. Uh, uh, what did he say? Bear with me here to get that. I don't want to butcher that. Yeah, this is uh, Psalms 144 and 1. It says, Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. My goodness, my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people, who subdueth uh, my people under me. Speaking about Yahweh by Shem Yahashai, he's going to be our strength. He's the one that's going to teach our hands to fight for war. He's the one that's going to endow that spiritual power on select men. It's not about the numbers. It's about the spirit, the sincerity, and being chosen. Being of that elect quad, uh, quality. All right, so with that being said, you know, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash, the bonders, the apostles, and the elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity, the women, the children, and the confusion of faith who follow. Shalom.